First Lady Michelle Obama might be sleeping in this morning after staying up late for the big 50th birthday bash thrown in her honor. Kristen Welker is at the White House this morning with more on who came out to celebrate with the Obamas. Kristen, good morning. Hey, Lester, good morning to you. Well, guests tell us this was a night that really did live up to its billing with performances by Beyonce and John Legend. And the guest list was just as impressive. All here to celebrate the First Lady and 50 years. Some of the biggest names in Hollywood, Washington, and the Obama's hometown of Chicago turned out to celebrate the First Lady's big night. Tell us how you're feeling going into the party. Well, we all think it's going to be a great party. She's the First Lady, and we're all here to support her. Uh, I'm just most looking forward to saying happy birthday to her and uh, being able to celebrate you know, this great you know, milestone in her life. Even NBC's own Al Roker. <laughs> you ready to dance? Oh, gosh, yes. I'm hoping it's old school. Guests were told to eat beforehand and and dust off their dancing shoes for a first lady who's been known to do the doogie. Michelle Obama is not afraid to have fun, and it seems turning 50 has been no exception. There hasn't been any of that sort of, uh, oh, I don't want to talk about my birthday, or oh, I don't want to talk about my age. For her generation, 50 is not old. 50 is not something to lament. Instead, it's been something to celebrate, from pictures with her new AARP card to this adorable tweet from the White House showing how much she's grown. The woman, who for many has become a fashion icon and model mom, is now an example of how to hit a major milestone with ease. I just hope she has another 50 years and more coming, you know, and and that she'll accomplish everything she's capable of, of, of accomplishing. Guests celebrated late into the night, enjoying delicious desserts and A-list entertainment. We were here for the First Lady's birthday, and that was the highlight, and the president gave a wonderful, wonderful speech about her, and then Beyonce performed, and wow. Now, cameras and cell phones weren't allowed in, but guests tell us other celebrity sightings include Stevie Wonder, James Taylor. They also say the first daughters were there with some of their friends, but everyone who attended seemed to agree the highlight was that speech that President Obama gave to his wife. And Lester, I also hear he did some dancing last night. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Christopher Walker, thanks very much.